I'm Elliot from New Zealand, and this is the Cricket Library Weekly with R.B. McKinlay, MJ Ellis, and Matt Fiction. Correct! Well, you've been asking for it, and it's now time. A brand new segment, The Fiction Files, with me, Matt Fiction. And it's an opportunity for you to get an insight into what it's like for me as a cricket librarian working in Australia during the ashes. I'm absolutely pumped. This is going to be a great opportunity. I'm going to be able to tell you all the highs and maybe occasionally one or two lows. I dare say there won't be any lows because England will win the Ashes. They'll win them 5 nil, and everyone will be saying, we don't want to talk to you. Please stop talking about the Ashes. So I've made a bit of a deal here. What I'm going to do every day of the game You'll get my views at the end of play and we'll package it all up on the Cricket Library Weekly. Let's have a listen to see how things went in the first test at the Gabba. Here are my thoughts on day one. What a first day of the Ashes. I'm really flat. I was so excited this morning, J.E. Root. The coin toss goes up. He calls correctly. And then we have a bat first. And then an M.A. Stark. He ruins my whole morning in the space of one delivery. England three for 24 at drinks. England four for 59 at lunch. Then they're five for 108 after 39 overs. I'm just hoping and praying that Pope and Butler can get them out of jail. But it doesn't happen. England all out, 147. The Australians far too good on day one. And then it rained. I was thinking... Rain, rain, go away, because this is our chance. Let's get these Aussie openers in there. Let's get them out there on a wet deck and steamroll them. But it didn't happen. It rained. We came back the next day. Day two, Australia. What a day for them. I was up and about, Harris went. I was screaming at the television, Are you beauty? Pack your bags, Harris, cop that! But then it was a long morning for me. Lava Shane and Warner piling them on. A bit of a reprieve when Stephen Smith came and went. Then my word, TM head, 100 in a session. Remarkable display from a man that some people were querying his place in the side. How can you query TM Head? What a player! I wish he was a pom! Didn't he put them to the sword? 100 in a session, my word! And Australia 7 for 3 4 3 at the end of day 2. Oh, gee. If you thought I was flat at the end of day one, I was really flat at the end of day two. But I knew there'd be something special in that second innings from England. I knew that J.E. Root would be the man to lead the Poms out of the doom and gloom. And he did it. What a man, J.E. Root. What a batsman. Him and DJ Milan. They set the tone. England 2 for 220 at Stumps. Cop that, Australia. We're going to pile them on. We're going to make 450 plus. And you are going to get yourselves in a woeful position. And we're going to take out this test match. And all the doubters, all the naysayers, all those people who didn't believe it was possible, they'll be coming back here in the library. They'll be apologising. Day four. My word, 
England. All out. Two nine seven. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm having trouble talking about this. England all out. Two nine seven. Australia. <laughs> In the second innings, only needing 20 runs for victory. And Alex Carey's gone. He's gone for nine. Robinson's got the wicket. We're a chance. Only need to take nine for four. We couldn't do it. Australia win the first test. Nathan Lyon gets his 400th test wicket. Alex Carey. Takes more catches than anyone has on debut as a test match wicket keeper. It seems like all the positive stats are with the Aussies. I'm regrouping, I'm I'm calming down. And the great news, it looks like Jimmy Anderson might be ready to unleash in Adelaide. It looks like DA Warner has a little bit of a sore rib. And we might be peppering it in Adelaide. And it looks like as well J.R. Hazelwood might have a little bit of a niggle. So I'm ready for England to fight back. And you can hear all about it as I review each day's play in the Fiction Files. Make sure you stay tuned on the social networks, on the Cricket Library YouTube channel. And of course, next week right here on the Cricket Library Weekly. This is B-Map Fiction. Bye for now.